On an all-new episode of Turnaround Steering, we're going to be doing part one of the episode entitled Men Going Their Own Way. And of course, I'll give you a theoretical thought. Join me on an all-new episode of Turnaround Steering coming up next on YouTube. Are men going their own way? What? Stay tuned for this two-part episode of Turnaround Steering because later on, I will most definitely give you a theoretical thought for part one of this episode. So, fellas, y'all know the drill. Grab a snack and come on back because y'all just might learn something. Roll the intro. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tenacious T. And welcome back to another episode of Turnaround Theory, where I give you a theoretical thought on yeah, just about anything. Listen, if you are new to the channel, I personally want to welcome you. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you will be instantly notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. And if you also want to contribute to my channel on YouTube, you may do so by clicking on the link in the description box below for PayPal. With that being said, let's hop on into it in today's episode of Turnaround Theory. Now on today's episode of Turnaround Theory, this is going to be a two-part episode concerning men going their own way and why men are checking out in terms of marriages and relationships. This is part one of today's episode and later on, I will give you a theoretical thought based on part one of this particular episode. So stay tuned to the end of the broadcast and I'll give you a theoretical thought based on that. Now, why is it that men are walking away in terms of marriages and relationships and why do men want to go their own way? Well, a year or so ago, us men have decided to come up with our own trend in terms of men going their own way. And what does that mean? I'm glad you asked. Simply put, men just don't want to deal with the drama anymore concerning women. Men want to be at peace. They want to focus on themselves. They want to focus on their careers, working out at the gym, et cetera, et cetera. If you don't believe me, why don't you just watch this video and maybe you'll know for yourself what men go their own way means. Check out this video. Since you don't believe me, watch it for yourself and I'm going to come right back. Oh, what is MGTOW? So MGTOW is simply where men go their own way obviously they like to be to themselves but most importantly they focus on their priorities first not really focusing on women as much but that can be a downfall to most men who do go that route um they should be able to talk to women but also not just women but also talk to people who are entrepreneurs businessmen multi-millionaires millionaires guys that they can make connections with and furthermore, just elevate them to new heights. Um, MGTOW is a good movement, but there are some pros and cons to the movement. But at the end of the day, men who go their own way are still successful, but also date women and be around highly successful other men. That's really the truth with all within itself. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Take a look at this next video. This woman says, men are done, or should I say, men are bored with women. Here comes an incoming stitch on TikTok. This man is gonna give this woman an earful. Check this video out, and I'ma come right back. Men have become bored with women. What? Young lady, do not try to speak for all men. There is no one truth spoken by one person that could apply to us all. We are all different. Even I, as a man, would never attempt to speak for all men. But I can speak for myself when I tell you I'm not bored of women. 
I am tired of pain. Straight facts. I am tired of being treated as though I am an impulsive child and must justify my every decision before ever carrying them out. She belongs to the streets. I am tired of being treated like a liar and having to prove everything I say and do. And even after years of doing that, I have not gained any trust and have to continue to do so. Bye, Felicia. I am tired of having love and affection held over my head like a weapon. And if I even so much as disagree with you, then I can't have any love or affection. Suffering succotash. I am tired of being treated as though if I do not change every single thing about myself to suit you, then by God, maybe we're just not meant to be. And if I dare ever ask you to change anything about yourself, even one thing, then by God, if you have to change, then maybe we aren't meant to be as well. Huh? I am tired of being treated as though my problems are my own to solve, but your problems must have every bit of my support that I can muster. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I am not bored of women. I'm tired. That is why even now, if I were to meet Miss America, there would be a moment, a moment, where I would pray to God that I could ever land something like that and promise all the sacrifices I'd make just to have someone that beautiful. And then I'd remember, as the moment passes, that I have made those sacrifices, and my life didn't get any better. So I would not do that again. So while being lonely is its own evil, it is its own pain, I would choose that day after day than ever be treated as I was before. Straight facts. Are you stupid or something? And one other thing you can note, men, when you start going away, in terms of leaving these women here in the United States, do it in silence and do not respond to them. You don't believe me? Watch the video. Because this woman is still wondering where in the hell are all the good men are gone. And by the way, shout out to Raul or please act right for posting up this video a few days ago. I want you to see this video and understand why it's important for us men to just go away in silence and be that passport bro and just get out of there. Yo, where are the men that put you on the inside of the other sidewalk when you walk in? Where are the men that open the door to the car for you when you're going on a date? Where are the men that call you all day because they miss you or hit you up randomly to just be like, I was thinking about you? Where are the men that go to the store, see your favorite candy, and be like, let me get that for you, babe, because I just thought about you and I knew that was your favorite? Where are the men that don't mind filling up the gas tank on a Sunday because they love you and don't want to see you do it? Where are the men that are just not nonchalant? Because nonchalant will get you nonchalant. A few moments later. Where are the men that are like, babe, pack your bags because we're going on a trip and they just, they don't even tell you. Well, I'm sure you figured that out by now. Where are the men that you don't got to remind, yo, it's been a month we've been together because they come with flowers. Go ahead. Keep talking, baby girl. You'll soon find out. Where are the men? Where are the men? Where are the men? Where the handsome men that, like, yo, they get their hair cut done and they call you and they be like, babe, what you think? Because they want to know your opinion because they care about you. Where are the men that, like, want you to be a passenger princess and want to hold your hand while they drive? Where are the men that are ready to like dub every female for you? Like, and make sure that nobody disrespects you while you're together. A few inches later. 
we're the men that are emotionally available and ready to share their emotions with you and and create safe spaces for you and letting you create a safe space for them what we're the men that make you feel so soft and so like be able to depend on them that you could be in your soft girl era where those men at she belongs to the streets because every day i come up on here on this here app and i see women with the men of their dreams i see women like getting flown out to see their the loves of their lives and i'm sitting here like where the f these men at suffering because I, I, I must be missing a sign where are these men at like where they at i thought by now she would get a clue to where the hell us good men were going but she just kept on and on and on and she kept rambling and rambling and she still has yet to get a damn clue. You ain't gotta take my word for it. Anyway, I'll be right back with a theoretical thought for this episode right after this. Why men are checking out of society and relationships. People don't go where they're unwanted and everybody always puts the blame and shame on men for everything that has gone wrong in society. A woman wants a man who is emotionally available and sensitive, but if a man expresses his sensitivity, he is told that he has a fragile ego. If a man wants to defend himself against a woman, she will shame him into being quiet by saying he's either too aggressive or he has toxic masculinity or he has, again, a fragile ego. If a woman says something offensive, she is is protected. If a man says something offensive, he is canceled. It's considered sexist or misogynist to point out a woman's shortcomings and you have to walk around eggshells with them because of their sensitivity. But men get mocked, ridiculed, and disrespected in society and they're just supposed to sit back and take it. You can make fun of men all you want online, mock them, criticize them. If you do that to a woman, you'll get canceled. Men are four times more likely to commit suicide and make up of 70% of all suicides. They're also two and a half times more likely to end up homeless. Yet there are very little help centers and shelters for men. Men are four times more likely to be the victim of violent crime. They're expected to die for their country, take on the most dangerous jobs and the lowest paying jobs. Waste management, paving the roads, coal mining, and police officers who risk their lives but yet are shamed in society for being seen as a threat, saying that we don't need them and to defund them. A man will risk his life to go to war and fight for his country and come home and find out that his wife has cheated on him. This has happened a lot. And even though she cheats, she's still awarded alimony, child support, half of what he earns and half of what he has. 80% of all divorces are initiated by women and they're always awarded the financial earnings of their husbands, whether it's a home, 401k, retirement, alimony, child support. When men and women commit the same crime, men always get harsher prison sentences. Men get 60% longer prison sentences. A man named Brian Banks was falsely accused of rape, spent five years in prison. He's now a convicted sex offender. She was awarded $1.5 million, and it came out with video evidence later that she lied about it. Did she get in trouble? No. Men are blamed for the bad politics and politicians, even though women are more likely to vote. Whenever I give advice videos on what men need and what they desire in a relationship, women will respond saying, who cares about them? What about me? They have no desire for self-improvement. They just expect a man to love her no matter what, even if she's a jerk to him. And now, turn around still radical thought. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what time it is. This is my favorite part of the segment entitled Turnaround's Theoretical Thought to close it out for part one of this two part episode of men going their own way. Here's the theoretical thought for the day, fellas. There's nothing wrong with going your own way as a man. At least you are at peace and you have the strength and the stability to move on with your lives, focus on your career and getting your help in time of need focusing on your mental health as well, and going out at the gym, doing all the things that you want to do, and just keep it drama-free. There's nothing wrong with going your own way as a man. But at the same time, do it in silence. Don't let these women try to trigger you and get you on a rant and make you snap at them the way that they do. It's bad enough that women are being taught by society that it's okay to be masculine like a man, but they can't handle it. Truth of the matter is, if you walk in silence with that movement, the women don't know what the devil will hit them. That's your theoretical thought for the day.
Thank you for watching part one of this episode of Turnaround Steering on my YouTube channel. I want to remind you, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. Stay tuned for part two of Turnaround Steering with the episode of Men Going Their Own Way coming next time on Turnaround Theory. And until then, I'm your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tenacious T. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this video on today. Until next time, Team Turnaround out.